always loved about psychiatry is that there is that human contact and, and also that you've got huge privilege of asking people's life stories. So every time I see somebody, I'm usually, it's like being very nosy. I mean, they, you know, you ask about, and you're quite entitled, and it's very helpful to ask about their people's family and background and how they were brought up and their, their personal lives and sometimes their intimate lives. And you ask all sorts of things that you wouldn't dream of asking um, anybody else. I mean, one of the great joys and pleasures and why I love what I do is because you know, people are infinitely surprising. And you know, people and people who you would never... I mean, years ago, I came across this person who, was, who looked and sounded um, extraordinarily boring, to be honest with you, and dull and not particularly educated. And it turned out he wrote poetry. He wrote the most stunning poetry. And he thought, goodness me, I would never have predicted that. So, so no, life is full of surprises. And I think, you know, you know if you gave up... If I, if I went... I think the, the time for me to retire is if I went in and I didn't come across anything. Because what amazed me was how completely nonplussed the patients were. So, you know, I would turn up on the ward and, you know, there would be the, the, the cameraman and, you know, the microphone, and the patients, as far as I could see, carried on um, remarkably um, as if nothing happened. And the one thing that I'll never ever forget, because it's the most, you know, it's one of these things, you know, that said that my life is always, you know, it's always stranger than fiction, but, you know, we had one patient who um, believed, or had a delusion prior to the filming that they were being filmed by Channel 4, and, of course, turned up to the ward to discover a sign saying, filmed by Channel 4, which case we stopped the film immediately. Having said that, in fact, having thought about it, a lot of people said, well, what you should have done is you should have actually kept the filming going and used it as a positive thing for therapy to say, yes, actually, you are being filmed by Channel 4, but so what? I mean, nothing terrible has happened, but, but we didn't. I mean, there, are, there are a lot of misconceptions about mental hospitals and psychiatric treatment, partly because a lot of people's understanding of m mental hospitals appears to be based on one through the cuckoo's nest, for example. So, for example, we do very occasionally um, use electric convulsive therapy. It's, it's very rare, and it certainly isn't anything like you never see. I mean, I won't go into the technicalities of it, but um, it's very rarely used, and it's nothing like what you see in the films. And the other thing is that people, it has changed, and people haven't, I think, necessarily understood that over the last, say, 40 years, rather than having lots of large hospitals with thousands of beds, most people now with mental health problems live in the community. You know, they live next door to you, you know, they, live, they live around the corner from you, and they look like you, because they are like you. And I think you know, one of the things is that almost all of us can suffer from mental health problems.